For the first time since the coronavirus restrictions went into place, NASCAR will allow a limited number of fans to watch two of its races, including one here in Florida. 1,000 Florida service members representing the Homestead Air Reserve Base and U.S. Southern Command will be welcomed as honorary guests and view the race from the grandstands. Talladega Super Speedway in Alabama will allow up to 5,000 guests for the June 3rd, 21st, that is, race. Well, this comes as the circuit's only black driver is calling for a ban on the Confederate flag at NASCAR events. And News for Jack Sports anchor Cole Pepper is here. Cole, this is a big statement from Bubba Wallace. Yeah, no doubt about it. Wallace admits that uh, he once said that he was more concerned with checkered flags than Confederate flags. But he's speaking out now. Last night in an interview on CNN, Wallace called for the sport to ban the Confederate flag anywhere NASCAR races. We were trying to figure out next steps, and my next step would be to get rid of all Confederate flags. There should be no individual that is uncomfortable showing up to our events to have a good time with their family that feels some type of way about something they have seen, an object they have seen flying. Um, no one should feel uncomfortable when, they're, when they come to a NASCAR race. So it starts with Confederate flags. Get them out of here. They have no place for them. This comes after Wallace wore a T-shirt before Sunday's race in Atlanta with George Floyd's final words and Black Lives Matter on it. Wallace's comments also come less than two months after Kyle Larson was fired from his team after using a racial slur during a live stream of the iRacing series. This is not the first time the Confederate flag issue has come up with NASCAR. In 2015, NASCAR issued a statement in support of the removal of the flag from the grounds of the South Carolina State Capitol. There's also a telling story about the Confederate flag and Dale Earnhardt Sr. shared by his daughter on a podcast a few years ago. But on my dad's truck, he had this sticker with a rebel flag that said American by birth, Southern by the grace of God or something mm -hmm. like that. And, you know, it had a rebel flag on it. And we had this housekeeper named Ann and she was the most awesome lady. She was African-American lady. Mm -hmm. And she asked my stepmother, I think, you know, about my dad's rebel flag on the back of his truck. <laughs> yeah. And um, the next thing we know, my dad's out there with a knife and a razor blade and he's 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 cutting the rebel flag yeah. out of the sticker and you know left the america by birth but he didn't you know he didn't want to offend anybody or, or or make anybody mad in that manner yeah. and she just thought that was the best she's like you know that's just so awesome that you would do that so far there is no official statement on this topic from nascar but some of the top drivers posted a video on social media in support of racial justice and working together Wallace and seven-time cup champion Jimmy Johnson were among the drivers who were part of that message. Kent and Mary. Thank you, Cole.